Hey Pryor, welcome to another episode of Business Corner, where we sit down with local business owners and get a little insight onto what makes them tick. I'm Brooke Rouge, and today we're going to learn a little bit about Pryor history. Today's guest is Chris Hardy from the Book Exchange. Welcome, Chris. Okay, so I'm dressed up as my my good friend, or I guess I am a good friend, <laughs> Cowboy Short. <laughs> and uh, Cowboy Short has a YouTube channel. What's on there is, it's Cowboy Short Reads is the name of the channel. So I just pick up random books sometimes and read um, a children's book. I'm not gonna read you a whole novel or anything like that, right. even though you'd probably like for me to. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Um, but hey, I'd love love more um, viewers, followers, subscribers. That'd be great. Um, you know, to get us into the uh, uh, hundreds. <laughs> yeah. One hundred would be great. <laughs> Triple digits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the book exchange is one of the oldest businesses in the downtown Pryor, is it not? Well, uh, my grandparents, Vincel and Rosemary Hardy, opened the bookstore in. 1980, March the 1st of 1980, so this year it's uh, 41 years. and um, That's quite so, a bit of time. Yeah. So they opened it over behind the, in the alley, behind the um, All Red Movie Theater, and starting <laughs> in the alley and just selling used books and trading for, and trading used books. And uh, I think the end of 1983, they moved over um, to the current location on 3 North 8 here. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually the Hardy building that we're in. Right. That's kind of a cool piece of history that your family owns. You want to tell us sure. a little bit about that? So my great granddad, O.L. Hardy, Elmer Lee Hardy, um, bought the building in 1940. Uh, bought the corner where the bank uh, was in 1940. The bank had gone out um, after the depression and so he put his real estate and insurance business in the corner. Uh, and then April of April the 27th of 1942, a uh, tornado comes right through the middle of downtown Pryor and the building is completely changed from being a red brick, pretty cool looking building. Um, and then they started the kind of the mid-century looking um, white or off color white brick. At that point, everything was redone. His office went upstairs um, in number three but the building was originally built in 1902. So probably the floor second on the second story here is probably the original floor from 1902. A lot of walls fell in and out. Uh, the roof was completely gone. And um, yeah, it, it really changed the way downtown Pryor would have looked if we hadn't had a tornado come right through town. Yeah, there's some old wood in this building. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, it's been great chatting with you. Thanks yes. for stopping yes. in today. Yep. yep, I just had to come up the stairs. We might talk to the <laughs> landlord about an elevator. Possibly. I think that's a great idea. It's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wraps up this episode of Business Corner. We'll be posting a new video each week. If you like this short conversation we had with Chris, we'll be posting an extended interview where we sit down and talk with him a little bit more. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss next week's episode. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Comment below. Let us know what you think. God bless Pryor. Have a great week. <laughs>